In this video, I'm going to be covering three different things. First of all, different types of camera resolutions that you can buy, what megapixel means, and then why this is important when you're selecting the camera that you want to install. Now, to understand camera resolution, you first need to know what a pixel is. A pixel is an individual dot or light of color that make up an image. So the more pixels that you can have in an image, the crisper and the sharper the image will appear. Now I'm sure you've heard the phrase 1080p. What 1080p simply means is that there's 1080 individual lines of pixels going across the image. In older analog uh, cameras, this is also referred to as uh, TVL or total vertical lines. The standard resolution for a 1080p image is 1920 lines horizontal by 1080 lines vertically. So if you multiply 1920 by 1080, you get a total of 2,073,600 pixels. This camera image at 1920 by 1080p would be considered a 2 megapixel image because there's 2 million pixels that represent that image. Megapixel just simply means million pixels. This being all said, the higher megapixel camera that you have installed, the more detail you're going to be able to get once you zoom in on that image. However, if you're not going to ever need to zoom in on anything, you're probably not going to be able to tell the difference between a 2 megapixel camera and a 5 megapixel camera when the two images are side by side. This is because the device that you're actually displaying the image on, such as a computer monitor, is only able to display typically around 2 million pixels on an average camera, or average display running 1920 by 1080 resolution you're only going to really see a big difference when you actually zoom in on a portion of the image. In these examples, I'm going to be using my 4 megapixel camera that has a maximum resolution of 2592 by 1520. I have two objects set up, a license plate on my son's playhouse and a book a little bit closer up. I'm going to go ahead and force this camera into anamorphic, which is going to force the camera size, and I'm going to make this a 480p resolution. So I'm going to change this to 854 by 480p and then hit OK. The camera is going to reboot at 480p resolution. Now at first glimpse it might not show like a big difference between the previous image and this image but when I zoom in on the objects that I had out here placed you're going to notice that this book you can barely even read anything on it and when I go into the license plate that's a little bit further back in here you can't read a single thing not even a single letter. So that was 480p. I'm going to go and change this camera now into a 720p resolution. This is going to be um, 1280 by 720. Hit OK. Camera's going to reboot. And now it's going to give us a little bit better of a picture quality, but when I zoom in on this book here, you're still going to notice that you can't really see much. You can read the word Chilton, but that's about it. On my further target, the license plate, you can start to read it, make out maybe maybe a, a number or two on there, but it's still extremely blurry. Can't really tell what it says at all. So let me zoom back out, and I'm going to change now to a 1080p resolution. Go to video, force size, 1920 by 1080p. Hit OK. Camera's going to reboot. Now we're getting a little bit better picture quality on this. The uh, book, you can actually read the words Chilton a lot better. You can tell that this book was made for a Ford. That's about all you can see on it. And then when you go over to the license plate, uh, we can start to read it. You can see a 9 and a 7, maybe a 1, but the rest of it's still kind of not readable. So I'm going to go and put this camera back on the highest resolution that it's possible, which is 4 megapixel. And I'm going to turn off anamorphic size. It's going to reboot to the highest resolution. And that resolution is 2552 by 1520. Hit OK. And now when I zoom in on the book now, you can read it a lot better. And on the license plate, You can definitely tell the rest of the letters look like it's 9BB or 988. But I'm going to put up a side-by-side -side comparison here to show the differences in the zoomed-in products.